Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today is Thursday. It is June 8th, 9th, 9th. <laughs> I'm losing it already. Um, it's about almost nine o'clock AM. I am off today as per usual when I vlog. Um, but I have kind of just like a bunch of random things to do today. So I thought that I would take you along with me. I have therapy at 10 and I have been wanting to try the Duncan birthday cake. Um, I think that's what it's called. Some kind of like birthday cake latte that they've had for like weeks now, but I have not had a chance to go. So I think what I'm going to do this morning before therapy is run over to Duncan, grab a coffee. And then I have a couple kind of life updates, if you will, to share with you guys this afternoon. Um, I have nurse residency this afternoon. I have some like chores to do around the house. Just kind of, I'm gonna go grocery shopping as well at Trader Joe's, which I haven't been to in a while. Um, and we just have like kind of some stuff to do today. So I thought I would take you along with me. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Oh, and I also have some clothes to show you that I got in the mail today. So lots of things to do today. Um, I'm gonna throw my hair up in this claw clip that I'm swinging around and then we'll head over to Duncan. Okay, so I just pulled out of Duncan, got my coffee. It is super super sweet but you guys know me I love super sweet and that's kind of like what I was going for with this coffee you know what I mean like I intentionally wanted a sweet cake batter flavored coffee that's why I chose it today I think if you don't like sweet this would not be for you but with that being said I am on my way home I have plenty of time before therapy it is only 8 58 right now and my appointment is at 10 so um i'm glad that i got myself up a little bit early with some time to kind of get myself together i'll probably make some eggs or something for breakfast today maybe some like avocado toast with an egg on top we'll kind of see what i'm feeling when i get home but i'll check in with you guys for breakfast so while my egg is cooking up over there um i'm just gonna kind of chit chat with you for a second about my one little mini life update it's not anything super dramatic but i do want to put a little trigger warning here that i am going to talk about like food and weight loss and stuff like that so if you're easily triggered by stuff like that please just skip ahead to the next clip because i don't want to trigger anybody but i do want to talk about it since it will become obvious in my next couple vlogs over the next like weeks and months and stuff um but basically I since I moved down here to Raleigh have gained probably a full 10 pounds um which I'm still a healthy weight you know I've been to the doctor everything looks fine and everything but my comfortable weight and the weight that I feel best at is probably 10 pounds lighter back and forth from night shift to day shift and just not having a very regular routine and schedule for myself where I can absolutely make it to the gym twice a week like I was when I was living in Philly. And so that obviously has played a role in both my mental health and my physical health. With that being said, I have decided to start with WW aka Weight Watchers and I'm doing their like very basic digital program through the app basically where I just track my food for points um with the goal of losing between five to ten pounds hopefully because um I do work out pretty regularly now that I've moved down here and have kind of gotten a handle on my schedule and everything I neglected my diet though in terms of like healthy eating and everything I don't really watch what I eat I kind of just eat whatever whenever and I just think I could benefit a lot from just being more aware of what I'm eating and portion sizes and snacking and everything like that. So um, with that being said, when I go grocery shopping today, you'll see a lot of like very specific foods. And over the course of the next couple weeks to months, you'll see me eating a little bit differently and probably talking about like, oh, this breakfast is X amount of points and stuff. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there because it is gonna be a part of my life now. And I didn't wanna just not talk about it. 
Um, but yeah, I've been very insecure in my body and my weight and everything recently. And um, I think in general, I could benefit from some healthier eating anyway. So with that being said, my breakfast today is a slice of Italian bread, half of an avocado, and I'm gonna do one egg. Eggs for me are zero points, fruit is zero points, vegetable is zero points, whole wheat pasta, quinoa and brown rice, and then something fish is zero points for me. This avocado was two points and the piece of bread was four points. I think so it's a six point breakfast. I'm not counting things like coffee and drinks um, because those are things that I'm not willing to cut out or adapt into my lifestyle. So I'm kind of customizing this to like what's appropriate for my lifestyle and what I feel comfortable with because I do, if I have to cut out too many things, I can definitely fall into a pattern of very disordered eating. So I will not be counting any drinks towards my points. I will simply just be counting food. Um, and so yeah, that's my breakfast today. I have about 30 minutes until I have to log on to therapy. So I'm gonna do that. And then after therapy, we're gonna head over to Trader Joe's to do some grocery shopping. Um, I might have to do a trip to Harris Teeter later today too, if I can't get everything I want from Trader Joe's, but I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a hot second and I would really like to go because I have a lot of new summer stuff. So I'm gonna head over to Trader Joe's and then, um, I will check in with you guys with the grocery haul if I don't see you before then. It's 11 o'clock, I just finished therapy. I am going to run over to Trader Joe's real quick. I also need to stop at Staples to pick up something that I had printed. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna run over and do those things now so I can be ready for nurse residency as soon as it starts and I'm not like rushing around. Um, and then I'm hoping that it'll stay sunny um for when i'm done with the class so i can sit out at the pool for a little bit this afternoon maybe um i guess i could theoretically sit out there to do my nurse residency class but i'm not gonna push it um so yeah i'm gonna head over to trader joe's and staples right now and then um i'll show you guys everything that i get um don't worry i'm not gonna like rattle off the points of every single food or anything unless it's like something um like important but i'm gonna head over there now grab groceries i'll do a grocery haul when i get back and then i'll probably change into a bathing suit during nurse residency so i can just be ready to go the second it is done and then i might sit out there for like an hour um and maybe if i have time in between grocery haul and nurse residency, I'll show you some of the clothes that came in the mail today. The thing that I got from Trader Joe's today is these gorgeous blue hydrangeas. So I'm gonna quickly put them in a vase and then we'll do the rest of the grocery haul. I guess in retrospect, these are too small for just one little vase that I have, but they were just so pretty and hydrangeas are my favorite. So I just grabbed this like little three pack and put some water in the vase that doesn't really match this, but I just thought they were so pretty and I couldn't leave them there. But yeah, you guys know I'm not really like a buy flowers at the grocery store kind of girl, but like I said, hydrangeas are my favorite and it was $6 for the three of them. So I bought them. Anyway, I picked up my staples order. Let's get into the grocery haul. Starting with this first bag that feels like something's leaking in it. Um, I got the patio potato chips because they're my favorite. They only have them out in the summer. It's a mixed bag of sea salt and vinegar, dill, ketchup, and barbecue potato chips. All in one bag. Probably not good in terms of, you know, my Weight Watchers thing, but I love a good snack. I got a loaf of wheat bread. I got a bag of the strawberry and vanilla yogurt pretzels. Got a thing of asparagus because I found this recipe on Half Baked Harvest's website for this asparagus pesto gnocchi. I just got some smoked salmon. I got one of the sweet corn burrata and basil ravioli packages for like a quick dinner. I got some of the jalapeno mango chicken sausage. The people at the checkout were telling me that's their newest one. I also got another, this one is just a salmon filet that's frozen. 
Um, and I am also getting a HelloFresh box this week. It's coming on Monday and today is Thursday. So this will get me through the weekend until my HelloFresh box comes. Um, and I got the cauliflower gnocchi to do the pesto gnocchi with because I thought that would be a little bit of a healthier option. And then I did also get another one of these um, fiaccetti with pink sauce. They did not have my gnocchi gorgonzola one. That's my favorite thing ever. Probably a good thing since I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier, but this is like a really good, like easy pasta meal for after work or whatever. Then I got this new salad dressing. It's the strawberry basil vinaigrette, which sounded really good. And then I got two yogurts. Um, these are the Greek non-fat yogurts. I got strawberry and mango just for breakfasts or snacks or something. Um, and then I have two more bags. Next bag, this one has most of my like produce and stuff in it. Like I said, fruits and vegetables are zero points. So I tried to really like load up on fruits and vegetables this week. I got some blueberries some pre-cut mango because I hate cutting mango myself. And honestly, it was $2.99 or $3.99 for the entire thing of mango. And this is probably the equivalent of three mangoes, two or three whole mangoes. So it's not really that bad of a value. I got an entire bag of lemons and an entire bag of limes just because I love citrus basically. And I feel like I never have lemons and I never have limes when I need them in terms of like zest or juice or something. So it was cheaper just to buy a whole bag of each than to buy individual ones. So I just got a bag of each. Um, so I could have them maybe put some, um, lemon in my water, lime in my water or something just to mix it up since, um, you know, I'm going to be focusing a lot more on water intake and everything too. Um, I also got strawberries and I got two bags of romaine lettuce for salads for work. So I work tomorrow, Friday, and I work Sunday. So this will be salads for those. And then I think I also work Monday. I'm not that far ahead, but I have enough salad for lunches and the one bag of lettuce is good through June 20th. And today is only the eighth, the ninth. So I have a lot of time on this lettuce, which is great. Um, and then I did get another pack of mini cucumbers for salads or just for snacking. And then I got the pineapple, or sorry, the mango tangerine candle because I love their little candles. I keep them in my bathroom and I like like them when I take baths or whatever. I always have all the mini ones, but I think this is the one scent I didn't get to grab last year. So I just grabbed it this summer. And then one last oh, bag. Also for some context, this entire order, or yeah, order, was $117. So I did, again, I bought a lot, a lot of stuff because I really needed a good restock and I bought a lot of fruit and like fresh food. Um, but, so it's like a little bit more expensive than my normal haul. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Next, I got these. They're the strawberry shortcake sandwich cookies. I tried the like birthday cake ones they had not too long ago and I literally ate like an entire sleeve in an entire day. So I knew these would be good too. I got just a pack of plain bagels. Um, I got um, that smoked salmon and I have cream cheese and stuff for like healthy meals. Can throw some cucumbers on it too, like light breakfasts. I got some of these egg wraps. I have some um, deli turkey and deli um, cheese left over from my last grocery shopping from the other day. Um, so I figured I could make some wraps and these are literally just made out of eggs. So um, they count, I believe these would probably count as zero points for me, which is nice. Then this looked so good. Spicy mango lemonade, say less, say less. Um, one last frozen thing, I did get a reduced guilt mac and cheese. Again, really easy to eat after work. I'm gonna try and make sure I have meals prepped for myself. I generally do, but sometimes I just get home and all I want is to just throw something in the microwave. So I got this because it's a little bit lighter. And then again, sticking with the lemonade theme, they have their sparkling lemonade back, which you guys know how I feel about lemonade, period, but I love carbonated things too. So we're all set on lemonade for a little bit. And then I did get a pack of just some tofu. Um, I got the extra firm one. I'll still like press it, but I just thought it could be fun to throw this in the air fryer and this lasts, like this is good until the end of July. So it'll be just good to have, even if I don't eat it over the next couple days, just some good protein. 
that I don't always get from meat because I don't really eat a lot of meat. I did get a thing of light brie. And then I also got this limoncello gouda. It's one of their like new cheeses for the summer or like a cheese they bring out in the summer. And it sounded really good. So I got that. And then I did get some burrata for the um, gnocchi recipe. I don't know if I'll do the gnocchi tonight or if I'll save it for Saturday. I have to kind of look over the recipe to see exactly what it entails. I don't think it entails too much, especially because I got the pre-made gnocchi, but we'll see how long I lay out at the pool later um, and like how late it is when I get back and how hungry I am and all that. Anyway, it is now 12 17. I'm going to put the rest of this away in the fridge. Not like super hungry for lunch right yet, so I might wait a little bit because I eat a little bit of a later breakfast. I also quickly wanted to show off this PR package I got from Find Your Happy Place. Um, it's the Mindy Kaling collection. It's just at Walmart for this summer, it says. So it's limited edition fragrance collections available exclusively at Walmart. And there are two body sprays and two um, bath bombs, it looks like. Yeah, two foaming bath bombs. So it looks like there's two scents. So it's Just Wanna Have Sun is this one. And that's what the bath bombs are in too. And it says it's Juicy Citrus, Golden Amber, Pineapple Blossom, and Sweet Mango. So this is a fragrance mist. And then the other scent is Festivals and Fireworks, which says it's Sparkling Peach, Sugarcane, Berries, and Summer Lily. So that is very cool. I'm excited about these bath bombs to put them in my bathroom. And these fragrance mists are so cute too. So thank you. I believe this was from Collectively um, is the PR company that sent it. So thank you guys. Okay, so it's 2.30. Nurse residency just finished. I um, just made a little wrap with those egg wraps um, while I did the class, but I'm going to go head out to the pool for a little bit while it's still bright and sunny out. Um, and then I have a meeting with Anthony from Lumify at 6, so I'll come back in at some time before then and shower and everything before our Zoom meeting. I'm back from the pool. I don't think my face is red from sunburn. I think I'm just like hot. Um, showered, now I am getting my dinner prepped. Like I said, I'm gonna make the cauliflower gnocchi with some asparagus, pesto, and burrata cheese. It's I'm like loosely going off a recipe from Half-Baked Harvest. So I have all my stuff out. I'm gonna start heating up my pan here and we're gonna get going. I packaged this one up already because I forgot to show you guys, but burrata, gnocchi, asparagus, and then I prepped my salad for tomorrow's lunch and overnight oats for tomorrow's breakfast, and I tracked it all already, so we are good to go. So I just got off my call with Anthony, and I guess there's an extra life update in this video that I wasn't expecting, but... They were able to hire someone to do their influencer marketing full time. So I'm no longer going to be working for them. I will still remain a member of the Lumify fam and all that, but I will no longer be working for them. So two life updates in this video, I guess. Um, but with that being said, I'm just going to keep watching some TV and everything. It's seven o'clock right now. Um, I still haven't gotten to opening those packages of clothes yet. I think I might just save that for a different video since I know this one is already pretty long and I'm just, I'm tired <laughs> from laying out in the sun earlier and I just kind of want to sit and relax a little bit. Um, so I'll put the clothing haul in a different vlog, I think. Hey guys, I am just finishing up watching um, some Love Island. I've been like rewatching all the old seasons from when I was quarantined um actually it started on my birthday trip I was showing them what Love Island is and we started from like season one episode one of the UK and so now I've just been watching it all the way through while I wait for the next season is it season seven of the UK to come out this summer but um yeah it is 8 50 right now so I'm gonna start getting ready for bed because I do have to work tomorrow and be up early 
Um, and you guys know I like to go to bed at like nine or 10 o'clock when I work. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for being interested in my life enough to listen to my life updates. Um, definitely let me know what you think down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.